Hello again guys, it's me Lindsay and today I am coming at you with a Makeup Geek top eyeshadow video. I had a subscriber, one of my lovely subscribers had the great idea that I should talk about what are my favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadows and which are the ones that I use. And I think that's a great idea. There are some people who I'm aware are not familiar with what Makeup Geek is. Makeup Geek is a website. It's MakeupGeek.com. It was founded by Marlena, a fellow YouTuber here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. And I'll also link the website down below if you're interested in purchasing these shadows. Basically, the great thing about these shadows is that they are the same quality, if not better, I think better, quality than MAC eyeshadows. Way better quality. It's better quality and they last longer and you could really use them really without an eyeshadow primer. I never... I always use eyeshadow primer, but I know that you can use it without an eyeshadow primer. And the great thing is, they're a fraction of the price. I mean, these eyeshadows are so affordable that while I was in college, and when I was in college, that was when my money was the tightest, because I wasn't even working. I was just doing, you know, in school. I was purchasing these shadows. And I was so thankful because I don't have, I, I own maybe four or five MAC um, single shadows because I just it wasn't affordable for me and these eyeshadows are super affordable and I recommend them to anybody people especially people who are just starting out with makeup and they don't want to take the commitment of purchasing a, a, my, a, a single shadow that's $16 for one shadow which is just crazy and they'd rather pay maybe $6 per shadow which is amazing and get the same quality and a great pan let me show you these are all of the MAC Sorry, all of the Makeup Geek, the mug shadows that I own. This is all of them. And I showed this in my Perfect Palette tag. And this is more of my, um, how should I say, my neutral everyday. Really neutral colors that you can you can pull off anywhere. And this, dun, 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 this is my crazy tropical wild splashes of color and i i love this honestly i was i'm really nervous about doing <clears throat> what are my favorite 10 or five whatever eyeshadows from any line i do love a neutral look and i'll definitely prefer to wear a more turned down toned down look for certain occasions but i love color and i do reach for this um this Z palette more than I do this one, which is crazy. I know. I know a lot of people are like, what? But it's true. Definitely one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. Now, what I do when I put on my eyeshadow is I will... Mm, how do I do this? I like to put my primer on. And then on top of my primer, I like to put a base color. Now, this base color is going to go everywhere. It's going to go on the lid and the crease all the way up to the eyebrow, um, the, the brow bone. So... From here to here, everywhere you see, it's covered in that um, color. Why I like to do that is because I normally put a different color in my crease and a different color at my brow bone for a highlight. But this base color really makes it easier to blend all the other colors together. Sometimes if you have a primer, and I usually use MAC, um, Painterly by MAC. Sometimes if you just have a primer and you try to lay eyeshadow on top of that and blend it out, it's kind of like tugging with your brush and it doesn't really work out. So my favorite color by Makeup Geek to use as my base color is this one and it is called beaches and cream <laughs> instead of peaches and cream you guys get it beaches and cream. Mm -hmm. That's right. i love that color it's just like a really soft peachy color another color that i really really love um, now this would be for me, I would only use this probably as an outer corner. My outer outer V is where you're going to have your darkest color. If you want to, I usually put a lighter color on the lid, a medium color in the crease, and then my darker color would be on, on the outer V. But today I just have one, I literally just have one, like two eyeshadows. So, but another of my favorite colors from Makeup Geek is Bada Bing. And that is just a beautiful brown, a dark brown, a chocolate like cafe brown with some gold glitter specks in it. And it's really like shimmery. It's not very, you know, chunks of glitter. It's nice and small and shimmery. 
another one that I really really love for the outer V or even in the crease just as a darker color is Bitten. Bitten is matte. I love, um, by the way, so is Beaches and Cream. Bitten and Beaches and Cream are matte. And I love Bitten because it reminds me of True Blood, which is one of my favorite TV shows. No, it's not on the air. But anyways, I love it because it is a mahogany, burgundy. It's beautiful. I'm not good at describing colors, you guys. But if you, I'm going to add a swatch in here. That's another beautiful color. Coco Bear. Now, Coco Bear is an amazing color. I honestly think that it's probably Makeup Geek's, Makeup Geek's most popular color. And it just looks like this regular brown, but it is a reddish brown that just works with every single person's skin tone. I like to wear it in the crease. I like to wear it in my outer V. I love putting it in my lower lash line. It's a beautiful brown color. And that is um, the four that I'm going to choose from my more neutral palette and if you think about it those four are not even really that neutral so that just shows just how much don't get me wrong I have this many neutral for a reason I love to use neutral because you have to tone it down every now and then you can't be you know wearing some lime green eyeshadow on your eyes when you go to a job interview any other time that's what this palette is for and I'm gonna get into six eyeshadows from this palette that are my favorite here I have the brighter colors from Makeup Geek and I also have the 10 um, foil shadows that come in here that um, I recently popped in here when I purchased them. So if I could, I would really say my 10 favorite are the foil eyeshadows. Let's not get crazy. So the first color that I use, and I like to put this in my crease a lot, and that's Chickadee. Chickadee is a light orange color, and I love Chickadee. Look at this time of the year. It's spring, and when you think of Chickadee, you think of like little little birds hatching from the eggs. Anyways, Chickadee is a great color to put into your crease, and if you just want a lighter, brighter look, and you look more awake with this color, it's just... It's great, it's beautiful, and it's so blendable. All of these shadows are super blendable, super pigmented, and that's what you want in an eyeshadow. That's what you need in a great eyeshadow. Uh, this color I love to put in my um, in my lower lash line. I'll insert a picture where I have this on, and it's Mermaid. Oh, <sighs> Mermaid. I, I just, it's beautiful. It's, it, it's like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a teal, turquoise, um bluish green and it's shimmery and beautiful um chickadee by the way was matte but this is definitely a shimmer shadow another color that i'm i'm in love with i'm gonna go straight into um the foil shadows now i talked about this shadow before but <laughs> It deserves being mentioned again because it's literally the most pigmented shadow I've ever seen in my life. And that is Flamethrower. This color, I haven't had, I've used it before. Like, I used it in my last um, video that you guys saw um, where I am. What am I talking about in that video? Oh, my haul. This was on my crease. And this is just amazing color. Like, literally, you do not have to use primer. I don't even think... It would make a difference if you use primer or not. It's amazing. It literally looks like it has Fix Plus and primer just all packed into it. Um, another color that I really, really love from Makeup Geek. And that was one of their foil shadows. This is another foil shadow. And it is called Magic Act. It is just a bright yellowish gold. Um, it's beautiful. Put it on your lid and you can put maybe do a cut crease with black and really just make that color pop. This is um this is a very beautiful color as well. I've lost track of how many colors I've done, but I think I've only done six. Okay, next. The next color that I'm obsessed with um, is another foil shadow from Makeup Geek, and it is called Jester. It is just this green um, color, and the great thing is this like limeish, brightish green color. And the great thing about um, green eyeshadow, if you're a brown-eyed beauty like me, <laughs> these green eyeshadows really make the brown pigment in your eyes pop. And it really makes you look even more gorgeous than you already are. I'm talking about you. You're gorgeous. Anywho, next. I actually need to go back to the other palette because I forgot to mention one that is super, super important. And that is the amazing, the infamous, the out-of-this-world color 
called Corrupt. Corrupt is just a matte black. It is not just any matte black. It is the blackest of matte blacks. And it is literally just so pigmented that you almost have to be super careful when you're putting this um, in your outer view. Or where you're putting it anyway because of course there's going to be fallout. But um, And that could really mess up your whole makeup especially if you already have foundation on. But this is so black. I, I It's black. It, it is ground zero. It is... It's amazing. It's the blackest of blacks. And I think that was about seven. So it's good to have a great variety of shimmer and mattes. And some people only like to work with mattes or they prefer to have more mattes than shimmers. I don't know if you guys know it already, but I'm a shimmer girl. <laughs> Those are definitely my, my personal favorites. Like I said, you guys do not have to purchase these ones. And definitely if you're getting, you're just starting out, maybe these aren't the best ones to get. But they're my favorites and they're the ones that I use the most. So I just had to be honest about it. If you guys have any questions or if you want to know about maybe other, some of the other shadows that I have in there. Honestly, I love all the shadows in here. And it took me a long time. Don't think that I just bought all of these at once. It took me a really long time to get all of these. So um, just take your time. Maybe start out with four or five. Like I said, I think they retail $5.99 been a long time since I purchased one because um, the last one I got were the foil foil shadows and the foil shadows are more expensive I think they're ten dollars a piece because they were you know harder to make so yeah if you guys have any questions let me know and I hope you enjoyed this bye guys Mwah. time for time for Four.